All right, guys, so we are back with a new video. We have officially moved to Palm Beach County, Florida, and we're doing one of our first jobs since we moved down here. Um, so we've got a job over in Wellington. We've got a pool remodel. A builder that just sent this to me yesterday, um, he mentioned that he's got a skimmer line uh, that seemed to be pulling in a lot of air. And when one of his guys pressure tested it, it was definitely losing pressure. So he wanted me to come out and see if we could figure out what exactly was going on. Simple job today. Uh, all we're doing is testing one line. But just through our normal process, I'll show you exactly what I did. We plugged up that line with an inch and a half plumbing uh, testing plug. And then we just got our typical setup. So we've got our pressure testing rig. We're feeding water into the line. We got our air, air into the line. And then we've got our inflatable injector plug going into the skimmer plumbing line right here. And what we typically do, guys, is whenever there's a decent sized break, which this one is, sometimes if you don't have a very big break on a plumbing line, you'll put a little bit of water on it and the pressure gauge is going to go straight up to 30 PSI. 20, 25 PSI and it's slowly gonna drop down. You really can't continue to add water on it, but with a plumbing line that's broken like this one, you can constantly just really feed water and air on it just to get that soil saturated wet. Uh, so what we do when we have a break that's big enough to do so, first thing is we just flood it with water and we let it flood for 10, 15 minutes. And with just water, we see if we can hear anything with our hydrophone. So while that plumbing line is getting saturated with the water hose and that break's getting saturated with the water hose, we take the hydrophone and we just listen all around the edge of this pool and see if we can hear anything at all with just water. While we did that, really did not get any kind of result at all. The pool was dead quiet. Uh, so the next thing we did is we started to introduce air into the line to see if we can get a little bit more commotion, a little bit more turbulence, because with your air compressor, that's when you're gonna get the most noise that is produced when all that air is escaping out of the break. Um, the first few times we used our air compressor, we did the same thing. We listened all around this edge of the pool, did not get much of a result at all. So that process literally just took 10 or 15 minutes. And what you realize too, is that if you're running air and water on a decent sized break, and you're not getting any noise picked up on your hydrophone or with your deck plate around the pool, there's a good chance that the break might be a little bit further away. And that's exactly what happened today. After probably 15 minutes of flooding it with air and water, we finally started to get this spot where we have a bundle of plumbing lines running through the back side of this pool. So we got our deep end right here and running around probably some of the return lines and the vacuum line going that way. Uh, they're running outside the deck, making it way to that side of the pool. Uh, but after about 20 minutes, uh, we got a whole bunch of air and water coming out of the ground right here. So what I'll do now is I'll hit it with the air compressor so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> 